Hello, my stamping friends. This is Holly Peterson. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stamping Up, and I blog at hollyscrafting.com. Today, I'm going to show you how I put this um, card together. This is for a class that I'm doing this month, and um, there's lots of shimmer and sparkle on this card, so I will show you how we did that. We're using the Waves of Inspiration stamp set and the wave dies. The first thing I did, I have everything cut already for us. So my card base is Lost Lagoon, um, cut at eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. So we'll go ahead and just reinforce that score line with our bone folder. And then I am using our Stamparatus. I know we don't sell it anymore, um, but I am going to use it today. If you have a stamp positioning tool, you can use yours. And on my original card, I stamped the wave in Pretty Peacock. Today, I think I'm going to stamp it with Lost Lagoon and accent it with Pretty Peacock. So I'm going to take my Lost Lagoon and ink up my stamp. And then I'm going to take my pretty peacock and with a blending brush, I'm going to get a little bit of ink on there. And then I'm just going to kind of tap all over on my, on my wave. And then we're going to stamp it down. And I don't see much. I see a little bit of my pretty peacock, but I'm going to come in and add a little bit of more ink. And you can keep doing this if you have a stamp positioning tool. You can keep doing this as many times as you like. Okay. I'm going to call that good. Close up the ink pad so that I don't make a mess. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this layer off of, I'll have all the um, sizes for all the paper and the colors and everything that I used over on my blog. So then we're going to just layer this on top of a layer of Pretty Peacock. So I will go ahead and do that. Oh, before I did that, I should have sponged my sky, but we'll still make it work. So I'm gonna bring in a scratch piece of paper here and with Balmy Blue, I'm going to take a, a brush and I don't mind if it goes um, into my wave, so I'm not gonna mask anything off. I do like to start off and then just come on my project. And I'm going real light. We can always add more ink, but it's really hard to uh, take ink off. And 
and I kind of liked it with a little bit of the white showing. Um, can act as our clouds. We are going to add a couple of clouds. but And then I'm going to take some Azure Afternoon and I'm going to just add a little bit of that as well. Just real light. And I'm going down into my wave. I think that's good. So then now we can add this to our um, card base. My car base is Lost Lagoon, if I didn't say that. Okay, so then I have cut out, um, there's two wave dies in the, the die set, and I cut one out of the soft shimmer found on page 127 in the annual catalog, and one out of um, basic white. And I did not put adhesive sheet on the back of these, the white one probably would cut really nice with an adhesive sheet attached. Um, the shimmer paper, it was real hard to get all of the detail cuts out of there. It took a lot of um, time and patience to get all those out. There's kind of a filmy um, coating on this and um, it cut good. It just didn't come out of the, the dye real good. So I'm just gonna take, um, I just have uh, Tombow glue in this little applicator. And I'm just going to add some glue along the edge and a little bit on some of the intricate wave lines. I'm trying to get where it's the lines are a little bit fatter. And I like putting the white down first, but I don't think it really matters which layer um, you put down first. Okay, we'll try that. And I am just going to layer that even with my basic white piece that we stamped on. Like so. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the shimmer, the soft shimmer layer. Just add a little bit of adhesive here. Sorry, concentrating, can't talk while I, so most days I can't talk and chew gum at the same time. So I think that's good. And we'll go ahead and this layer that right over the top of the white one. And then you see both, both layers. Then I'm going to take Memento Black. Maybe I'll add my clouds first. Let's add our clouds. The die comes with um, a larger cloud and two and a smaller cloud. So I cut one large and two small. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of ink 
onto the clouds. There is an embossed um, edge on there. Um, I don't know if that shows in the uh, video, but it adds a little bit of uh, depth to the clouds. And then I'm going to add my clouds with dimensionals. And I'm just using my mini dimensionals. This big cloud, you could probably use the regular size. Like so. And I put one kind of down here by our wave. And up there, and then almost lost my other cloud, but I found it. And then we'll just stick this one over here. So now that I have my clouds in place, there's this little bird stamp in this set. And I have not trimmed the edges down of my bird. So you gotta be real careful not to get ink around it because it's so easy to get the, the halo mark around your stamp if you're, if you're not careful. So I'm barely tapping my Memento ink pad. like that. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to stamp the seagull onto this paper here. And I used pecan pie This is just a scrap because we're going to be cut, cutting him out with a die. And then for the actual bird, I am using my Stampin' Blends and this is the Light Pumpkin Pie. And I'm just gonna color his little feet and his beak. And then for his body, I looked at pictures online and I'm gonna use the light and dark gray granite. And where all these little marks are in his feathers, I'm just gonna add some dark gray granite and I'm gonna leave, it look like to me that their heads are white, so I'm gonna leave his head white. And then I think my light gray granite is almost gone, so we'll use the bullet end here. Just add a little bit of color to him. Then I'm just going to use my die and step off to the side here and cut him out. I guess I can bring those, the mini over here. And I find with my mini, if I um, offset the plates, it goes through the machine a lot better. And it looks like I'm gonna need a piece of tape. So 
so I just have some post-it note tape and we're going to line this up. And then this plate I'm going to make even with my bottom plate. So that middle plate there is kind of hanging out over the edge, but then it makes it real easy to crank that through the mini. Try not to shake that too much on you. Just carefully removing that. And I forgot to grab my Wink of Stella. Let me grab a, a Wink of Stella here. And I did not put Wink of Stella on my bird, but I did put, I put my bird on the card front with some dimensionals. That ought to do it. And then we're going to just add him down here at the bottom. And then I've got my Wink of Stella. I'm going to shake it down a little bit and give it a little bit of a squeeze. And then I'm going to use my bone folder and I'm just going to hit my Wink of Stella against my bone folder and that puts little splatters of Wink of Stella all over our card front. Of course when you do that you'll want to make sure you've got your ink pads closed unless you want a bunch of glitter on your ink pads but then that's it for the front of the card and then for my inside i stamped you're so totally awesome in lost lagoon happy birthday in pretty peacock and i did my seagull the same way my or my pelican maybe he's a pelican and then i stamped him on the envelope as well don't forget to hop on over to my blog and I'll have all the dimensions and sizes over there for you. And I really appreciate you stopping by to watch my video. Thank you so much.